hi all hope all are you doing good good morning good evening or good afternoon based on wherever you are located my name is Saurav Dhani and in today's video we'll be talking about troubleshooting SQL Server connection problem that you may face after installing and configuring Dynamics Nav or Business Central on-prem on your machine while using Raul Taylor client uh, so the error message that you get in this situation is the program could not create a connection to the server do you want to try again uh, the situation where it majorly occurs is a three tier environment where you have one server where you have SQL server installed and databases are re residing into that and then there is a middle tier server or the app server where our services are hosted and then you have client and maybe you have a web server so in those situation you might face these issues or even on a demo installation if settings are not done properly you may face these issues so let's talk about it and we are only will be only covering two things in this particular video one of them is how do you enable protocols in SQL Server configuration management and then how you allow SQL Server port within Windows Firewall and if you don't have Windows Firewall active then you may not need to cover the second part but enable protocol in configuration management manager is applies to everyone who uses Dynamics Nav or Business Central so let's start so click on your start menu look for your SQL Server version that you have if you have multiple like me SQL Server 2017 and 19 in my case choose the right one that you want and look for SQL Server 2017 configuration manager if it is different you may see a different name but that depends on that coming here it uh, lists down your SQL Server and all the configuration uh, details of it so to enable uh, the protocols for SQL Server you need to click on SQL Server network configuration and choose the version that you have which is in my case MS SQL Server and at this point make sure that in the right pane that you see the protocol named pipe and TCP IP should be enabled so let's enable those it says we'll need to restart the service let's do that so I'll restart the service and once the service restart we are good with the first thing that we were trying to do enabling the TCP IPI port and the named by port in our uh, uh, protocols for MS SQL Server the next thing that we are going to do is allow our SQL Server port via Windows Firewall so you need to know the port number that you're going to allow and we will get that port number based on SQL Server uh, configuration manager again go to protocols for MS SQL Server choose TCP IP and go to properties once you head into properties click on IP addresses there will be multiple entries that you'll see scroll down to end and because I have everything default I'm seeing my TCP port as uh, base which is 1433 standard port if you are using a custom port during installation you will see that port number here but the number will only be available in one of these tab so whatever number you see that's your port number that we'll be using to allow in Windows firewall so let's copy that 1433 close this and let's look up for our firewall so if you don't have firewall enabled on your server you don't need to do this but if you have it then you will have to do it once you are on Windows firewall or Windows Defender firewall that's what it's called now click on advanced setting once you're there click on inbound rules and you'll see that there are so many inbound rules which are already added by the system and then if you want to add new rule you can click on new rule 
once you click on new rule there are multiple options do you want to allow a program do you want a specific port TCP or UDP port to be uh, defined a rule for or do you have a predefined rule defined and then you want to add it or do you have a custom rule for this demo we are using a specific TCP port so we'll choose port click next now you need to choose which port it is in our case it's TCP and then what specific port so we are using I am using 1433 if you have a different number on the configuration manager then specify that number here click next now what you actually want to do do you want to allow the connection do you only want to allow if the connection is secure or do you want to block the connection so you can we'll have to choose we'll be choosing allow the connection in this case click next at what level you want this rule at the domain level private level or public choose based on what your preferences are for your company click next give it a name let's say Microsoft SQL Server and if you want to add more details you can do that and click finish and with that that port will be added for me it's already added so that's why I clicked cancel and I'll have that port added already so let me quickly show you this is my SQL Server port which is already enabled and it let me do uh, my connection to my database with my service tier and with my clients so let me know if this video helped you let me know if you want more troubleshooting videos of SQL Server connection problems there are other things there are so many things that we we may end up doing wrong while configuring our uh, business central or dynamics nav with windows client i'll come back with the next video next time till then goodbye